Dana. Today we're going to read a book. The title is The Lost Key. Keeper wanted magic adventure, but the magic key would not glow. It had not glowed for a long time. Maybe it would glow if I keep it. Keep it with me. He thought. So he put it in his pocket. Mom had to go shopping. She wanted Kipper to go with her. I wonder to get you some new trainers, she said. So come on. Kipper forgot he had the key in his pocket. On the way to the shops, Mom let Kipper stop and play. He ran to the rocket, and the key fell out of his pocket, and. On to the grass. Look at me, Mom! He called. Keeper locked his pocket, but the key was not there. Oh no! Said Keeper. Where's the key? I can't have lost it, can I? But he had lost the key. Keeper wanted to go and look for the key, but Mom would not let him. It has started to rain, and Mom wanted to get home. Ask Biff and Chip to look for it, she said. A man came to cut the grass. He cut it with a mower. The mower ran over the magic key with a clamp. What was that? said the man. The key. Had broken the moor. Hurrah! The man said crossly. Now I'm sure we have to mend the moor. He was so cross that he threw the magic key in a bin. Two boys came to play on the swings. One of the boys looked in a bin and found the key. Look at this old bin key, he said. What shall we do with it? The boys took the magic key with them. One of them had some string. String. He tried to. He tried the key. He tied the key to the string, and spun it round and round. Suddenly, the string broke, and the key flew through the air. It hit greenhouse with a crash and broke the glass. Oh no! Said the boys. Look at my greenhouse! Yelled the man. The glass is broken. The boys ran away as fast as they could. Just to come back here, called the man. Keeper had to tell Biff and Chip that he that he had lost the magic key. I think it lost by the rocket," he said. "But Mom wouldn't let me go to look for it." "Come on," said Chip. "We must find it." Will and Wilma helped them look for it, for the lost key. Biff asked the man if he had seen it. "Yes," said the man. I threw it in that bin, but two boys took it out. The children saw the two boys. They asked them if they had found the key. Yes, said the boy. But we lost it again. We broke a man's greenhouse with again, with it. They saw the man with a greenhouse. We are sorry about the gro- broken glass. Said Chip, but could we have the key? Sorry, said the man. I've sold the key to junk shop to help play for the glasses. The children went to the junk shop. They told the lady about the key, and asked her if she had had it. Sorry, said the lady. I have just sto- sold it. The lady told them who had it. A man came in. She said, "He wanted some old keys." 
She told him that the man had a shop down the street. The children went to the man's shop. In the window, there were pictures and paintings. Why do you think the man wants old keys? asked Wilf. Wilma looked inside the shop. It was closed, and she couldn't see the, see the man. We must get our pocket money, said Biff. We may have to buy the key back. Let's go home then, said Chip. Mom went to the shop with the children. She told the man about the key and how Keeper had lost it. Asked if they could have the key back. Yes, said the man. If you can find it. The man had painted some pictures in it and had lots of keys in them. All the key had been painted. The children looked at the pictures, but they couldn't see the magic key. They looked at all the pictures. All the keys look the same, said Biff. Suddenly, Keeper saw a little picture. It had one key in it. Here it is, he said. This is our key. The man told them that, that they would have by the picture. Biff and Chip gave Mom their pocket money, and Mom paid the man. It's a lot to pay for an old key, she said. The children pulled the key from the picture and rub, and rub off the paint. Then they looked at it. The key has not glowed for a long time, said Biff. Perhaps it has lost its magic. It's been out in the rain, said Wolf. And it's been bent by more. It's been through a window, said Chip. And it's been stuck on a painting. It had a bad time, said Wilma. The picture wanted to, the children wanted to keep to glow. Wilma picked it up. Do you think it will ever glow again? She said. Do you think the magic will still work? I don't know, said Biff. I hope so. But the key didn't glow, and the magic wouldn't work. Keeper told the key about the adventures he would like to have, but, the, but the, still, the magic wouldn't work. The next day, Wolf and Wilma came to the house with Nadima and Annie and Nina. The children were sorry about the key. It still wouldn't glow, and they were all very sad. How can we make the magic work again? asked Wilma. And Nina thought of a good idea. Let's remind them of a magic adventures, she said. Maybe that will make it work. But the key still didn't glow. At last, the children gave up. Mom stole... Mom told Biff and Chip it was time for their friends to go home. Cheer up, said Mom. Keeper was sorry about the key. It's all my fault, he said, and he began to cry. <laughs> Don't cry, Keeper, said Chip. Maybe the magic has just run out. Biff and Chip let Keeper take the key to bed. Keeper looked at it for a long time. At last, he fell asleep. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. Bye-bye. See you next time. Thank you for watching this. And don't forget to subscribe.